is the Solarian homeworld we're headed to. They aren't used to seeing Krogan here, so let's keep it simple. We land, get the females, and leave before anyone changes their mind. I still don't trust a word they say. Let diplomacy play out, Rex. You'll get what you want. These females are the best, and probably last hope for my people. We'll bring them back, Rex. Don't worry. I appreciate that, Liara. I wouldn't want anyone else along for the ride. Are you expecting trouble? Who's that? He's a Prothean. Sometimes I'm not sure if the Normandy's a warship or a traveling freak show. But as long as he can hold a gun. Commander, I have the Solarian base on sensors. Set her down. Commander, Solarian ground control says we don't have clearance to land. Tell them the Dalatras authorized this herself. I knew they'd never keep their word. Let's see them try to stop a Krogan airdrop. Rex? No! We have an unauthorized landing. And who authorized you to hold my race hostage? your colleague. We only found out about this transfer a few moments ago. I'd like to avoid a diplomatic incident. As would we. But you have something valuable to Rex. Something worth dying for. This matter can be resolved, but I must insist he remain under guard. <clears throat> I can handle this, Rex. If anything goes wrong and all bets are off. I'm Paddock Wicks, and I appreciate your understanding, Commander. With war on everyone's minds, our people are on edge. Careful! Watch the containment shield! I'd hope to never see one of those again. They were much smaller in my cycle. As you can see, this base contains sensitive information. What kind of work goes on here? Evolutionary trials. Morphological simulations, exogenetic assessments. Nothing is ever simple with Solarians, is it? Science has always been our best defense. The research we do here has kept Sirkesh safe for millennia. Seems like a good place to hide things you don't want the galaxy to know about. Like female Krogan. I'm aware of how this must look, but it was for their own good. They were in poor health when we found them on Tuchanka. We brought them here to stabilize their condition. This old planet smells wrong. I'd like to see them. Of course. I'll need to clear you for the lower levels. Give me a few moments and meet me near the elevator. Attention bio Please prepare for yon specimen arrival. Let's go over here and check this out. Because it's funny. Please don't touch that. As I said, Commander, don't touch that. Again, I would ask you to refrain from touching that. Perhaps don't touch that means something different in your language. I would rather not refer this matter to the human embassy. Touch it all you want. You'll never find out what it does. Are humans really so deprived of stimulus that they must insist on touching everything? I'm afraid if you keep touching that, you risk a diplomatic incident. Further manipulation of that object is grounds for further admonishment. <laughs> really, you must stop touching that. Once more, the Solarian Union formally requests that you not touch that. Fine, if you are so enamored of that object, then I suggest you get your own feces analyzer. This is where all you Solarians come from, huh? No wonder you're so soft. Too busy writing poetry about waterfalls. Shepard, I don't like this. I should be the one going in. How about you stay here and we only fight one war at a time? That was just good old-fashioned Krogan hot air. If it had been real, they'd be dead. 
Idle threats are empty threats. <laughs> Maybe when this war is over, you can come live on Tuchunka. You'd fit right in. Back on the Normandy, you said Reapers were sighted on Tuchunka. Clans Jorgal and Ravenor sighted a few landing parties. The Reapers are up to something. Tuchunka may be a pile of radioactive rubble, but it's our pile. And we'll fight the last Krogan to keep it that way. That's what I always liked about you, Rex. My smoldering good looks? <laughs> there is that. But you've never given up. And that determination's about to pay off. Yeah. Who would have thought back on Vermeer we'd be standing here doing this together? Why are you... Why have you got your back to him, Liara? What do you know about these females? They weren't fertile, so we used them as decoys to draw off enemies from the ones who were. But Malin's experiments changed that. These damn piejacks stole them right out from under us. That's a pretty brutal way to treat your women, Rex. The females suggested it. We've had to make a lot of tough choices to ensure we don't all die off. Your females are wise. It's just one more thing that'll get better when the genophage is cured. Yeah, I'm a little bit tired of all these retcons, you know. In Mass Effect 1, it was going to drive them extinct. In Mass Effect 2, it was... They had a stable population now, but we're back to driving them extinct. Get a little bit tired of this. Are the Krogan ready to fight the Reapers? Ever since Sovereign showed up, I figured this day would come. My people have spent too much time selling ourselves out as mercenaries. Now we can get back to doing what Krogan do best, saving everyone else from giant monsters. Krogan do enjoy reminding us about the Rachni Wars, don't they? And Asari never let us forget they're better looking. Been good talking to you again, Rex. It'll be even better when we have a few Solarians for lunch. Why did you have our ear back to us, Lyara? Really? Agree with them or not, our orders are clear. Ensure the smooth handover of the Krogan detainees. Who gave the order? Our superiors. That's all that matters. But they're gonna cure the genophage. Everything we've done to stop the Krogan will be for nothing. When I want your opinion, I'll promote you. Until then, stay sharp and keep your mouth shut. This is a restricted area. Please stay back. It's where we're gonna come up. I don't like what I'm hearing. What? There was some outbound comm traffic 20 minutes ago from inside the base. And? A burst transmission, fully encoded, with no identity signature. No signature? That's against protocol. I know. Someone's passing a message. I've got a bad feeling about this. So have I. Another incursion? Air defenses report unidentified craft skirting our inbound approach vectors. It's like someone's testing our defenses. Appears that way, sir. I don't like it. Not with everything else going on. Krogan on an STG base. Never thought I'd see the day. I can't believe they brought the females here. I was on the team that got them off to Chunka. What was it like there? A wasteland. Krogan are animals, living in their own radioactive filth. The genophage didn't go far enough. 99% infertility is still 1% too many Krogan around. Send confirmation to the Dalatras that the exchange is proceeding. Yes, sir. And ask her for more warning the next time the Krogan leader shows up unannounced. Yes, sir. I wasn't serious. She'll maroon you on Tachunka with raw meat strapped to your back if you do that. Oh. Then she'll record the Thresher Moors eating you as a warning to anyone else who challenges her. I guess we're done there. What about here? I want top priority given to the Krogan transfer. But the Yog specimen is giving us trouble. The Yog. I regret ever bringing them here for study. They say they're close to achieving spaceflight. That's why they're under consideration for uplift. Clever species. Perhaps too clever. What do you do? Uh, 
Liara, do you need to see a chiropractor too? Does my entire crew need to see a chiropractor? During my cycle, we forgot what beauty looked like. The Reapers extinguished it everywhere they went. Was your world as nice as this one? I never knew. It was already a wasteland when I was born. A cyber analyst over in Intel told me the Turians can't hold out much longer. He's hearing the Reapers have them against the wall. The Turians have the biggest fleet in the galaxy. And we're only a few Mass Effect relays away from the whole mess. And here is Kira Hayes stand in. Commander Shepard, I'm Lieutenant Tolan. I've heard about your exploits against the Reapers. All of it good, I hope. Your mission on Vermeer holds special renown in STG. The assistance you lent our team tipped the balance. But now, I'm not so sure. It sounds like you don't agree with what I'm doing here. You're upsetting a balance of power that stood for a thousand years. And if you succeed, we're ill-prepared to face a resurgent Krogan. The Salarians uplifted the Krogan. You wanted them violent. And then we neutered them when we realized our mistake. The same mistake you're making all over again. If I know Rex, he'll encourage a more peaceful approach from now on. Assuming the other Krogan listen to him, or don't kill him. Good point, Tolan. Good point. What did you hear about Vermeer? You helped Captain Kirahe's squad destroy Saren's cure for the genophage. Which is ironic, considering you've come here to safeguard another cure. I wonder if Kirahe's men died in vain. Saren was raising an army of Krogan slaves to fight his war. This is different. Is it? Seems to me that's the same thing the Turians want. Good point. This guy's got all kinds of good points. Are the Salarians ready to fight the Reapers? Best way to win a fight is to avoid it altogether. But now, this business with the Krogan, you may have drawn us into it. It's going to happen sooner or later. We'll see. What do you think about the experiments on the Krogan females? I was part of the team that found them on Tachanka. I wanted them eliminated, but our scientists insisted we bring them back for study. I don't need science to tell me fertile Krogan will be dangerous. I hope we don't pay for misguided mercy. I'm surprised you even know that word. The Krogan don't. When have they ever shown mercy? Never. This guy's making all kinds of good points here. Security seems high. You expecting trouble? You've revealed the existence of Krogan who are immune to the genophage, Commander. Word will get out. We're now a prime target. This is the only way to get the Krogan and Turians to cooperate. And us? Will we pay for your political expediency? I know about keeping secrets, and I can tell you this wouldn't have remained hidden for long. With all due respect, my people invented secrecy. And somebody else invented a way to breach it. He's not happy. Good day, Lieutenant. I hope you can keep it that way, Commander. I don't think talking to him will automatically trigger the elevator ride. You have clearance now to see the females, Commander. I hope we can resolve this matter without reenacting the Krogan rebellions. What type of work do you do here? Evolutionary intervention. My government calls it uplifting, guiding the development of other species to suit our own purposes. Until recently, I evaluated life forms to determine whether they were suitable for uplift. You don't anymore? My work raised more questions than it answered. Now I'm searching for the underlying principle that directs evolution itself. That sounds vaguely spiritual. Just open-minded. Discovering the process of evolution is a major breakthrough in any species development. Uncovering its purpose would be paradigm shifting. What do you think about handing over the Krogan? I differ from most of my colleagues. Curing the genophage will bring closure to this issue. In the future, the Krogan may yet play some role we can't even imagine. 
We should let the evolutionary process decide who lives and dies, not galactic politics. Do you know what happened to Malin? By the time our team reached Tachanka, he was gone. It's possible one of the Krogan clans killed him, or maybe he fled the planet. A pity. Malin was bright, if a bit naive, about the status quo he was challenging. Thanks for your time. Of course. We can proceed into the elevator when you're ready. All right. Well, I think we'll end it here. And we will pick it up. We will meet the Krogan females. Actually, there's only one, obviously. In the next episode. Until then, take it easy. Thank you.